State Representative Priscilla Giddings remains strong on her stance that she did nothing wrong. She even told a lawmaker not to put words in her mouth during an ethics hearing at the Boise Capitol building yesterday. A room full of cheers as Representative Priscilla Giddings walked in to face the Ethics Committee after two complaints were filed against her by around two dozen other lawmakers after she posted an article naming an alleged rape victim of a former representative. Giddings took the stand in an ethics hearing so earlier this point, year. She was questioned was about a Facebook and, post she had uh, made, which included a photo and named the Jane Doe alleged Correct. victim. You did post a picture of uh, Jane Doe on there, didn't you? Representative Gannon, I posted a link to a news article. Monday, during her opening remarks, Giddings called the ethics hearing a politically motivated attack. I stand by my statement that I posted a link to a news article, and that is not the same action as posting her name or a photo. I believe that based on this committee's previous ethical inquest this year, that there's nothing that I can say or do that will affect the outcome of what I believe is a predetermined verdict. Fellow lawmakers who were a part of the two complaints testified before the committee. I believe this is a standard that goes out to the public, that you do not out somebody in the middle of a process where there's a sexual harassment complaint. We need to hold ourselves to a, that higher standard that says we're going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that even though we can do something, doesn't necessarily mean it's the prudent and right thing to do. Giddings was given five minutes after each testimony to come back to the hearing room to cross-examine witnesses, but she did not. All right, five minutes has ended. We allotted that time to Representative Giddings to cross-examine Representative Yamamoto. She's not here. Representative Yamamoto, you are excused. Thank you very much. Hours later, she was required to come back due to a subpoena where she took the questions regarding the two complaints, one about the Facebook post where Giddings shared an article naming the alleged victim. This post on your Facebook page has a link to a news article, correct? I shared a hyperlink of a news story. So here again, you're trying to put words in my mouth. And in my opening statement, I already said what I did, and I stand by what I did. Are you aware whether there was a picture of Jane Doe in that news article? At the time that I shared the hyperlink, no, I was not aware of it. Did you read the article prior to posting it? I skimmed it. I did not read it thoroughly. Gidding says she stands by what she did and says she only posted a hyperlink to a news story. Now this morning, the House Ethics Committee voted unanimously to censure Giddings and recommended that she be removed from the House Commerce and Human Resources Committee.